Mendel's experiments have stood the test of time, and I would say we've discovered additional rules. People talk about non-Mendelian inheritance because there are, are many traits that'll be inherited according to the principles he discovered. So it's still the foundation, I would say, of modern genetics. And many textbooks are still organized into Mendelian genetics, molecular genetics. It's, it's really still a discipline because it deals with traits you can see, let's say red hair. Does it, does it get passed on from mom to daughter, mom to son? Does it disappear for a generation and then reappear in grandchildren? These sorts of questions, these sorts of systems of thought are still global and still in use as explanatory frameworks to understand why we look the way they do, we do, and what our children will look like and what humanity will look like in 50 years. So still a very powerful but updated way to look at the world. Yes, dominance, recessive, there's other things like partial dominance and and as we've understood just how complex genetics is and how traits interact with each other and how there might be multiple chemical steps to produce eye color or hair color, you name it, stripes on a zebra. We've had to modify some of these rules or add to these rules just to explain this world of complexity that we're just beginning to scratch the surface.